Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about the appropriation of characters because it's getting really aggravating to see these white characters being changed to another race and then when these companies celebrate that culture or whatever these characters that were race changed are now celebrated as it as part of it and it's just like no you're not going to take a character to stand for an appropriation of a culture or whatever like for instance the batwoman the new batwoman they want to celebrate black history month with that character you mean a character that you race changed to accommodate or the fact that um they had the west family an entire family that was white in the comic books and been white everywhere else but on tv they're all of a sudden black and then they were talking about subjects and dealing with issues of being black and it's just like your characters aren't black they never been black so for you to come up in here and try to speak for us when those characters aren't is weird it's the same thing when you take a character that's been predominantly male and make them female and then give them the issues of female issues and let that character speak for females once again you haven't been here like that for you to sit up there and try to speak on issues that aren't yours makes absolutely no sense the same thing when it comes to taking a straight character and making them the voice of the lgbt community and you're just like again that character's never been gay until now now all of a sudden this character is speaking for you know the thing but then in other parts of media that character is still straight you get what i'm saying it's weird why take characters and uh, appropriate them into another culture or another gender or another race or another sexuality and try to have that character speak on topics that that character's never been familiar with no matter if it's fictional or not, I just feel like that's weird. That is really weird to take a character from another race and, or gender or sexuality and try to put them into the, the shoes of the, the race, gender, or sexuality that you're trying to appropriate or pander from. It's weird. It's absolutely weird. And it's very trashy, to be honest, and it's quite highly disrespectful it needs to stop to be honest because it's really getting annoying to sit here and see these characters and then you got these companies using those characters these fictional characters and then have them celebrate or have them talk on the the subjects that those characters never had a right to say anything about or never had the inkling of that kind of thing it's it's weird it's just like it's just like me speaking on the Chinese American experience. I'm not Chinese. So it's weird that that a company will hire me to be a spokesmodel for the Chinese American people. You get what I'm saying? That's weird. That is that is weird. I don't have that kind of right to speak on that because that's not my experience or whatever and i feel like that's weird when they do it to characters even fictional characters to bring them out and about and then try to have them speak on everything just it's just weird to be honest to me i just find it weird because i'm seeing it a lot of too often and then when they do do that they have them as that spokesperson or have them be that lip service so the people that they're appropriating will understand where they're coming from and then kind of toss them aside where they're not even, you know, they're just there just for when they have special occasions. Let's dust them off. That's why it's weird when they take characters and race change them, gender change them or sexuality change them because you already know that they're only there to be um, either uh, uh, pandering or they're being there to speak on the subjects that they're being race change, gender change, or sexuality change too. 
it makes absolutely no sense to not use the original ones that are stated already. That's why I never quite understood that. Why like why you can't just you know bring those bring those characters already in instead of instead of actually appropriating them into another culture. It, it it's just weird for me. I, I'm sorry. I know I'm kind of like jumbling it up or whatever, but I just find that kind of weird and disrespectful to be honest. Like, wait, what are you doing? That character for 80 years being whatever that character is, now all of a sudden you're bringing them into something that don't have anything to do with them just because you think that they need to be the spokesperson of the group that you're trying to pander to or trying to have that care to be a spokesmodel for and it's just weird to be honest it's crazy i really wish companies would stop doing that kind of stuff and actually take time and effort with the characters that they do have or with the people that they do have of those cultures or gender or sexuality that they want to you know be a spokesmodel for or have those characters live those experience it's just kind of weird to see a character that's classical white, classical male, and classical straight be put into other cultures and then be like, oh, and then try to treat them as if they've always been there when they're not. You know, it's it's weird. But yeah, those are my that was my little quick little thought about the appropriation of characters in media. Um tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.